spacecrafts are an essential part of space exploration, but they are not alone in the vast expanse of space. One of the greatest threats to spacecraft is space debris, also known as space junk. In this video, we will explore how spacecrafts avoid space junk and the technologies used to protect them. Did you know that there are currently over 27,000 pieces of debris larger than 10 centimeters in size, orbiting the Earth at speeds of up to 17,500 miles per hour? According to the European Space Agency, there are also millions of smaller debris objects, ranging from paint chips to bolts, that pose a risk to spacecraft. It is not comparable to a gunshot. The energy contained in a one centimeter particle hitting a satellite at that velocity roughly corresponds to an exploding grenade. Uh, so the consequences of such a hit mean a satellite failure, uh, for larger objects, even a satellite destruction and fragment generation, which again then has environmental consequences. So, how do spacecrafts avoid space junk? One way is by constantly monitoring their trajectory and adjusting their course to avoid debris. This is done by using radar and optical sensors to track space debris and predict its location. Spacecraft can then be redirected to avoid any potential collisions. Another way spacecrafts avoid space junk is by taking advantage of the fact that most space debris is located in low Earth orbit, which is around 1,200 miles above the Earth's surface. By orbiting higher, spacecraft can minimize their exposure to space debris. The Space Surveillance Network keeps track and predicts pathways of space junk. They provide the data to NASA so they can compute the probability of collisions and decide if an avoidance maneuver is necessary. However, there are millions of smaller pieces as small as a millimeter, and occasionally they impact the ISS. So protective shields and Kevlar is added to soften the impact. There are also several technologies used to protect spacecraft from space debris. One such technology is the Whipple Shield, which is a lightweight shield made up of two or more layers of metal that can absorb the impact of small debris. Another technology used is the multi-layer insulation Nemeli Blanket, which is a thermal insulation material that also provides protection against small debris. So, can we clean up space junk? Cleaning up space junk is becoming an increasingly urgent issue as the amount of debris in orbit continues to grow. One proposed solution is to use nets or harpoons to capture larger pieces of debris and pull them out of orbit. Another solution is to use lasers to vaporize small debris particles, turning them into gas that will naturally dissipate into space. In addition, Scientists are exploring the use of robotic arms to collect and remove debris from orbit. However, these methods are still in development and have not yet been implemented on a large scale. In the meantime, it is important for spacecraft to continue to avoid space junk and for space agencies to work together to prevent the creation of additional debris. While the cleanup of space debris may seem daunting, it is a necessary task to ensure the safety and sustainability of space exploration. With continued advancements in technology and collaboration between space agencies, we can work towards a cleaner and safer space environment for all. In conclusion, spacecraft have been exploring the depths of space for decades but the presence of space debris poses a significant challenge. To ensure the continued success of space exploration and the safety of astronauts, spacecraft must avoid space junk can utilize protective technologies. Additionally, 
Active debris removal systems are needed to clean up the growing amount of space debris. By working together, we can create a cleaner and safer space environment for all.